weigh in scale for the 2022 Emerald Coast Blue Marlin Classic, the 20th anniversary edition of the ECBC, is now officially open. Today, day one. I'm Scott Rossman, uh, your MC for the uh, weigh ins, and uh, alongside uh, Jonathan Boone is our tournament director. Jonathan, ready for another uh, couple of big days of weigh ins? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Scott. I just want to say, you know, welcome to the 20th Annual Amber Coach Blue Marlin Classic here at Sandustin. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces. Just uh, first of all, I just want to thank all the staff. You know, it takes a whole army to put this thing together. So uh, just uh, thank you to everybody who made this happen. Just a huge group effort out here. Just such a, a family-oriented uh, tournament. Yeah, nice big round of applause for everybody uh, participating. And again, all our sponsors, please go into that vendor's village. Thank them for being here and uh, look at their uh, the, the wares that they have in the booth, the uh, many different aspects of uh, marine life, nautical life, being out on a boat, and, and then some, and the uh, Wind Creek uh, Casino Hotel, Atmore, Alabama, a fantastic place if, uh, if you're into uh, All right, Mike, Captain Coleslaw, Captain Coleslaw, of the Emerald Coast Blue Marlin Classic. We're Frederick Fosdick and Associates, and we are so happy to be here and be sponsoring again. Now that COVID is over, and we're back to fishing. The Sea Wolf out of Destin, Florida, Captain Jared Quick, the Anglers of Scott Murray, O'Keefe Quick, Brad Layton, Keith Layton, Lynn Layton, and Troy Layton are the anglers, and Troy is the angler on this uh, Blue Marlin. 111 and a half. Um, we, were, we were talking about the uh, fight and, and the team effort. Mike. Yeah, it was a couple of hours, but as I was telling him, the anger is just a small part of this. The, the captain does most of the work. We just happen to be on the reel. Um, you know, we've got two great captains. Scott Muir is outstanding. Uh, quick. Jared's the captain. Keith is our way. It's just awesome. And uh, it wasn't a, a very quick fight. I mean, there's some physically demanding aspects to it. Isn't it? it was about two hours. About two hours it is. What's the toughest part for you, the guy in the chair? Uh, probably trying to get it up, straight up when it's under the boat. And how many times does it, does it do that? Uh, for about two hours. <laughs> really? The whole two hours, yeah. It, it knew where to hide, trying to break that line? Yeah, we saw it running across the top of the water before he ever hooked, hooked up, and once he bit, he took he went straight down. Okay, now I know this is your fourth or fifth Blue Marlin, but it's the first time he'll landing a blue here for the Emerald Coast Blue Marlin Classic? Yes, it is. It's a great place. Talk about this event and why it is that you guys keep coming back. Uh, my father's been here a bunch of times, and so that's the main reason. Okay. Uh, you enjoy it, though? Good crowd, uh, the resort and everything. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, everything's first class here from start to finish. I mean, just look around at the people. It's just awesome. Tip the Blue Marlin scales here at 503 Sunny Briggs, based right here at Baytown Marina. Captain Hunter Forbes of Santa Rosa Beach is the boat's captain. The mates are Lee Gilmore of Enterprise, Alabama, and Lad Sawyer of Bruton, Alabama. The anglers are Nimrod Fraser, Santa Rosa Beach, Jason B. Sprangle of Destin, J.B. Papa Sprangle of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Joe Thibodeau of Santa Rosa Beach. How many Blue Marlin have you landed? This is my second one, first kill. All right. And the first, this the so the first one you've weighed in here at the ECBC. It is, yes. Okay, kind of a uh, right in your uh, home home court advantage, so for sure. So it was a hell of a trip. We went three for three on blues. Got to kill him this morning. It was uh, five and a half hours. Five hours. That's a long fight. Pretty tired, huh? Yeah, we hooked him right at dark, so. It was, a, it was a good bite. I mean, very early in the morning? 
Or, or no, we you fought him the entire time in the dark. The entire time in the dark. Wow, is that a, a bit of a disadvantage for the uh, the team? No, I was glad the sun was down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got any uh, guess as to how uh, heavy this fish weighs? I say. Yeah, hopefully 503. <laughs> well, it's got to be 504. 5038. That's right. Well, let's go for 5039. All right. Talk, talk to the about the team effort. It's not just the guy in the chair. No, I mean, it, especially with a long fight with the captain, everybody that got moved in the chair, the deck hands, the whole crew is just, you couldn't do it without them. So it's, it's just so much that goes into it. Nobody ever understands it until you do it. I'm guessing we got a few of uh, his family and friends here in the crowd, ladies and gentlemen, give him a nice big round of applause for the entire captain and crew of Ray's Up. Looking the best, 503.7. The Blue Marlin hits the scale at. with the home port of Orange Beach, Alabama. The boat's captain is Kelly Graham of Panama City. He's driving a 64-foot Viking. Welcome back to the weigh-in scale. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain and crew of Evil Eyes. Let them hear it. in Orange Beach. Let's get to the road, baby. Of Houston. <laughs> the names are Nick Favell of Orange Beach and Trey Dobson of Foley, Alabama. The anglers are Christian Fass of Fairview, Louisiana. John Gibson of Orange Beach. Lance Glazier of Baton Rouge. Wes Minson, Wes Minson of Baton Rouge. Uh, we're going to give Art Farr credit to. He owns the boat. He's along for the ride. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Marina, the captain and crew of the work of art here. A nice white shirt. And they have our third blue marlin to weigh in. Fairly early on the second morning, uh, just came up and uh, came up and took it. Turned out being about a uh, just shy of a five-hour fight, so gave us uh, gave us hell right there. Uh, just got hotter and hotter as the fight went on, but uh, we got an awesome uh, got an awesome crew. I mean, uh, Captain you know, Captain Jason Buck and Art and Nick and Trey and uh, you know, Wes Gipper Lance. I mean, uh, just all pulled together as a team and got it in. The, the last blue they they hooked them as nightfall. Hit and they fought in the dark. Were, were you in the hot sun? Uh, we, yeah, we were all in the hot sun. There was no, uh, there was no relief. But it's uh, like you said, a team effort. Everybody did their jobs, and you got it on the back of the boat. Absolutely, everybody did their job. It was uh, perfect, absolutely perfect. And what is that feeling like after five hours of sheer physical <laughs> exertion? Uh, a lot of feelings. A lot of feelings. I mean, I could have uh, just want to lay down, but uh, I mean, just couldn't stop moving around. Just, it was just—it was incredible. It was uh, just indescribable. How many blues have you voted before? This is my second one oh. in 17 years. Wow! Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And it's a good money fish. Uh, Four hundred fifty-seven thousand yeah. dollars. That makes it all worthwhile. It, it does. It does. Yep. That always—it's uh, icing on the cake. All right, Christian and the uh, crew of a work of art. Uh, congratulations on a uh, great effort.
Tuna, off of Paramala. Lance and the crew of Paramala weigh in at 149.4 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the marina, ladies and gentlemen. The captain and crew of Change Order. Come on down, guys. Wahoo number three off of Change Order weighs. 54.7 pounds, that's a good stop. Oh, you're a new leader. Now first and second place. Ladies and gentlemen, with our next Blue Marlin, Captain and crew of Up To It. Let them hear it. It measures out at? 110 and a half. And and take a bow. You don't want to take your hat off? You work too hard on your hair, too much gel? All right. Way there, Blue Marlin at 457.4 pounds. 457.4 pounds. They are um, with two of our lady anglers, and one of them here to weigh in a large tuna. Give them a big round of applause. They got the Grove Real Fire. Weigh in at. Yeah. 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 The new leader on the tuna, Lita Bullard. Yeah. We are with your baseman, Destin. Captain Steve Pixley of Destin. It's a 73 foot Donzi. 36.1, now second place in the Dolphin category. Come on up, take a picture, Daniel. Salt Shaker is uh, based right here at the Baytown Marina. It's in Destin. Captain Dennis Bennett of Santa Rosa Beach. Jeff's Fish weighs 64.7 pounds. They're in the new category. Come on up, take a picture of that fish. What do you think, crowd? Are we going to challenge 170 here? Chris Hatcher and the crew of Salt Shaker. Their second team of ways. This fish is worth around $127,000. Welcome back to the marina, ladies and gentlemen, with our last blue marlin to weigh in, the captain and crew of Benedetta. Hey, bring it over here. Good. I got this rapid. Rapid. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the weighing scale, the captain and crew of Soul Candy. This weighs 38.9 pounds. 38.9 pounds is your new leader in the Dolphin category. Smith Reed of Santa Rosa Beach, another local angler.